Hello fam, how y'all doing? This is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews, the channel where I rant and I review. They trying to figure out why are we so angry? Why are we so upset? Because all the shit that they putting on TV is not true. Majority of that shit is just an agenda, a narrative that they're pushing to try to get us to do certain things and to think a certain way, man. You know, when you looking at shit for real fam, you start realizing that shit is really not the way they say it is. You look, you find out that people don't really give a shit. People don't care. People are not listening. Um, a lot of us, you know, we're too into having fun. This generation is very different from the previous generations. Whereas, you know, a lot of the shit that we cared about, a lot of them don't even give a fuck about. And I'm just being serious right now. That ain't me capping on this generation or anything, you know. But it's real, you know. You talk about Social Security. A lot of these cats out here, they're not having jobs that will pay social security. A lot of them, some of them resellers, some of them YouTubers, some of them influencers. And you know, that don't pay social security. You paying into certain things. And they said that the baby boomers killed that. No, they getting the social security that they pay for. Hell, you get what you put into, fam. Now all of a sudden we're looking at it and saying, hell, social security about to come to an end. It's coming to an end because there's nobody else investing or putting money in. If you don't have a standard job that takes out Social Security, hell, you're going to have a few issues going on, fam. You know what? This whole damn economy has fallen apart. It just didn't fall apart overnight. It fell apart, what, in 2020. It fell apart in February of 2020 during the pandemic. It fell completely apart. You know, they lulled people into a place of complacency. A lot of people got complacent. A lot of people got comfortable. Um, as they kept pushing the lines, um, overstepping your boundaries, a lot of people didn't say shit. Then all of a sudden, you try to figure out how all this shit is happening. How all these stores are closing. How restaurants are closing. Man, people like, they're not eating restaurant food anymore, uncle. That's a damn lie. People out here eating restaurant. You go to Wendy's right now. I don't give a fuck. It's in the morning right now. You go to Wendy's right now. That land is going around the damn building. Look at McDonald's. The land is going out the damn dough. Why? People are still buying restaurant food. Is they're using a different narrative to push. If I close certain stores, that means I can actually cut back on staff. And as I was talking to you all yesterday about self-checkout and how they're asking for tips and people are asking me, oh, there's going to be a tip menu. That's not going to be a tip menu. They're talking about charging you a 20% tip across the damn board. How the hell does that work? This is why I say you need to pay attention to some of this shit. You know, I'm angry because I'm paying attention to this shit. When Amazon started talking about they backing up, and I'm like, why are they backing up? And they study firing people. People are not looking at that. <clears throat> Who is delivering this shit? Who is filling the orders? They're closing car plants down. And they're moving them to other countries. Now all of a sudden it's like we got a global economy. And I am so confused about how this shit works. We're dealing with so much shit right now that it looks crazy as hell. It's hard to pay attention. You know, a lot of people say a lot of the shit on your channel it's just you just making up shit, man. And, you know, you just giving out misinformation. Man, half of the shit that we done talked about already done came to pass. People were asking me about cashless. Damn it, half of the places in Chicago don't take cash. If we're not going to be taking cash, what the hell are we going to be taking? Debit and credit. So there's a lot of stuff going on that we're not paying attention to. You know, a lot of people were telling me about, you know, crime and all of that, how, you know, I'm making up shit. It's not that bad, how shit comes and grows. And think about it. <clears throat> it was a lot of gun crime at one point in time that was going on. There was a lot of carjacking is going on. There was a lot of snatching grabs going on. The shit was going in patterns. As one pattern wear off, it's like to get you so scared, to get you so you know, nervous, you know, because people talk about Chicago so bad, man. How could you live there? I know you just scared, just coming out your door. You look around, you know, people just shooting in the ass. So that ain't shit ain't happening here. Man, I don't give a damn what part of Chicago. It's not happening like that. See, the thing is, people 
give you a narrative. They tell you about Chicago and how bad it is, all this stuff, man. You go to certain parts of Chicago and you just be sitting there like, damn, where's all that stuff they talking about? Fam, look, if you believe some shit, it's nothing wrong with that. You know, they tell you about everything that's going on. Like I say, I try my best to leave that shit over there. The money that I'm trying to make, you know, the money that I got in my pocket, my shit is earmarked. I look at everything that's happening. I look at all this clearance shit at the store. Yes, I look at it. If stores got too much of clearance, we got issues going on. <clears throat> now, like I was talking to you yesterday, like with Target and saying that, hell, the store shelves are empty. You know, they said they got organized crime coming in, stealing shit on a bigger scale. So you thinking, are they clearing out shelves like this? Is these are, are these employees? You know, what's going on? You know, it makes you think there's so much of shit going on right now, man. You know, I want to talk to you about fast food. I want to talk to you about every damn thing that they giving you with all of these statistics and shit like that. They telling you like, oh, don't eat red meat. Oh, this shit may give you cancer. Oh, don't eat this. This may cause that. Don't eat that. This will cause this. You know what? I'm going to tell you something. There's a study for every fucking thing. <laughs> At one point back in the 80s, they were saying that combing your hair may cause cancer. I'm not playing. That was back in the 80s. I remember that. That was all over the news. I'm like, what type of shit is this? See, they study giving you statistics to scare you. For you can stop eating red meat and um, dairy. And I'm like, wait, hold on. What the hell are you supposed to eat? If you stop eating protein and other stuff, fam, there's protein, don't get me wrong, in nuts and, you know, all of that other stuff. It's protein is just about in everything. But, man, look, if you base your life on studies and all these statistics they're getting, you'd be effed up. Back in the 80s, back in the 70s, back in the 60s, those were some of the best running cars they ever made. The 60s, 70s, and 80s. Those cars lasted a fucking lifetime. Now you look at these cars, they don't even last. These cars barely last past the damn year without shit going wrong. It's like they make the cars now. Back in the day, you were guaranteed to get more than 100,000 miles off your car. Now it's like you guaranteed that if, if shit, you lucky to get 100,000. You lucky to get 50. It's real out here, man. And this is why I keep saying we need to keep paying attention. Man, they playing us like we stupid. Don't you know all this shit is happening is just to get us, you know, all riled up and put into a certain situation? You know, man, they were talking about how fast food is bad for you and all that shit. Remember, you were little back in the day. You remember when you were little? Those food items didn't have labels on them. That's what makes me so damn mad right now. Why do every damn thing got so many damn labels? I don't need all them damn labels on shit. You know, back in the day, we took our monkey asses outside and played. Our parents made sure we took our ass outside and played. They they didn't give a damn. They weren't helicopter parents. They pushed your ass out the door and tell you to go outside. Your ass could come up missing. But let your ass come up missing too damn long. <laughs> you know. You know and you know. You know what you could get away with. You know what you couldn't get away with. And see, right now, I think so many people are so in love with their kids so damn much. And I know you're like, oh, that don't make no damn sense. What I'm talking about is people baby their damn kids right now. You know, are you okay? Um, is your tummy hurting? Um, you know, uh, how are you feeling? You know, um, is it like an emotion? You know, I'm like, what the fuck? He's a kid. Go take your ass over there and sit your monkey ass down. Man, we don't need to sit here and ask him what's going on with him. He don't need all that. Again, this is how you raise kids to be soft. You know what? You got to fall and hurt your damn self. You got to scrape your knee. You got to fall and hit your head. You got to fall off your bike. You, you got to fall off your skating board. Fall off your skates. You got to have accidents out here. You know what? You can't be too damn cautious in life because if you're too damn cautious, shit is going to go all wrong. It's going to go left instead of right. It's going to go left. You know what? Anytime that you go into a damn walk-in clinic and you got to have an appointment to go into a walk-in clinic, 
you know, they have nurse practitioners there. There are really no doctors there. Basically, there's no doctors. There's nurse practi practitioners. And you're sitting here like, I remember back in the day, you could just walk right into them and, you know, they'd be like, you know, your copay, blah, 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 what you here for. And, you know, you go sit down and they call you. Now they're telling you, you got to have an appointment and shit like that. What is the whole purpose of a walk-in clinic? Now you sitting here thinking to yourself, what the hell is really going on? And you telling me that they're not planning or somehow uh, setting up ways that, you know, they could find to get to you. Man, half of this shit they doing to us right now, it should have been illegal. We done let so much shit slide. You know, we done felt so entitled. We done felt so happy. I don't know what the hell all of this is. A lot of us should be going to fuck crazy, but we're not. We should be going off so bad. You know, um, I was listening to someone talk to me a while back. They said Lil Wayne got on the stage. I know this don't got shit to do with what we're talking about. They said Lil Wayne got his ass on stage. And they said he was mad because the crowd wasn't hyped. You know, and he felt... Um, felt insulted and he came off the stage 30 minutes in they said he did that a couple of years ago dude it's your job to get the crowd hyped this is what you get paid for this is why they buy tickets it ain't their damn job to jump up and down this is not Lil Wayne back in his heyday this is damn near Grandpa Wayne again once you age out a lot of people don't look at that it's like you know when you in your younger years it's all good. It's like, if you listen to Eminem when he was young, it was all good. You listen to him now, you don't, you don't find the shit. He 50. He damn near 50. And he got grandkids. I'm like, dude, that shit, he might have, he might have grandkids. Put it like that. You, man, nobody listening to that shit no more. And see, this is how everything changes. The shit that you used to listen to, the shit you used to do, you don't do no more. You know, this is how I look at it. A lot of us don't know how to let go of shit. Man, when things change, you got to look at why they change. You just don't change along with it. You got to look at why they change it. You got to look at why they going cashless um, throughout Chicago. Why are they going cashless throughout Skokie and um, Evanston? You know, people say, oh, you just lying. They're not going cashless. Man, half of the places I go to now don't even take cash no more. It's real. It's real when you see this shit. And when I was talking to y'all about self-checkout and I was talking about Walmart and shit a while back and talking about how a lot of them, at one point in time, they had like a lit thing where they would like scan each person like they were a thief or something like that and they would call the cops. And one lady, they did that to suit the shit out of them. They stopped that shit from happening again. Because they were doing that shit on purpose. Saying that you put something in your bag that you shouldn't have put in there. Man, that lady sued them so damn bad. Walmart was like, look, we changing out every damn thing. You know what? It takes somebody to fuck with your money for you to understand. Back in the day, we used to eat all them sweet ass cereal and every damn thing else. Man, like I said, all this shit that we used to do back in the day, far as food and every damn thing else, now you look at it, all this shit got labels on it. Remember, Twinkies didn't have no damn expiration date. That shit happened back in the 90s or 2000 where they started putting expiration dates on Twinkies. Twinkies will last a lifetime. But damn, Hostess that basically went out of business. Now, you know what? All of this, you know, healthy shit, that's what fucked up everybody. You know, back in the day, a lot of kids wasn't obese because they set their ass outside and played. Now, you know, you let your kids sit in the house and play video games all day. And, you know, I'm not saying that's everybody, but shit, I was one of those people that let my kids play. I said, look, you got to carry your ass outside now. This shit getting a little too much. I'm just looking at it, man. You get angry because shit is going on that you don't understand. And you don't understand how it is being allowed to go on the way it is. Man, it's just real. But to later, fam, thank you.